Imperial College medical student Ravi Amin started feeling symptoms of COVID-19 after just eight days volunteering on the front line of the pandemic. I got a fever and had some headaches and a little bit of joint pain. Amin is back at work on Wednesday after self-isolating for the past seven days. Since his fever has subsided, English public health officials say he's cleared to work, even though his cough persists. His housemate, James Eaton, is also feeling sick. Honestly, I didn't think Ravi would get it um, with all the all the safety precautions. Um, but he did get it, but fortunately, uh, we both had fairly mild symptoms. Amin said he feels safe wearing his personal protective equipment, a mask, gloves, face shield and gown. Talking with his colleagues about his work, he said, helps him deal with the stress. All of the staff in the hospital have just been very, very supportive of one another. And everybody's always asking, you know, are you OK? Are you coping with it well? Amin said he helps in whatever way he can, from feeding and changing patients to monitoring their temperature and taking their blood. It does still stay with you when you see people who are, you know, who arrest or, you know, you, you go home and then you come to work the next day and somebody that you were caring for has died overnight. So it's, those, do, those things do stick with you. Despite their symptoms, Amin and Eaton will not get tested for the coronavirus. Since they're not in the hospital, they don't get testing priority. Reporting for BU News Service, I'm Chloe Hudson.